Starting today, we are creating a new series of Python videos where you will learn about Python's best practices and write clean, readable Pythonic code. In this video, we will learn about slicing of lists, which allows you to build new lists from an existing list. So let's get started. Before we learn about slicing of a list, let's revise list indexing first. As we know, a list is a sequence of items in an order. So let me create a list first. Here on my text editor, I'll say numbers equals, let me create a list 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. To access an individual item from a list, we use index and it starts from zero. Let's access a few items from this list. So here I'll say print numbers. Let me get the first element and let me also get print numbers. Let me get the fourth element by using the third index. Let me run this code and we get the expected result. Python also supports negative indexing for lists. Using a negative index gives us items from the last. So minus one gives us the last item, minus two gives us the second last item and so on. So here, let me add one more line. I'll say print numbers minus one. Let me try one more. So I'll say print numbers minus three. And when I press run, then 25 and 15 appear because 25 is the last element in the list and 15 is the third element of the list from the last. And by coincidence, it is also from the first, but in this case, we are uh, using from the last. Slicing allows us to create a new list from an existing list. Let me give you an example. Suppose we have a list like this. So numbers, oops, equals 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Let me create a new list containing the first three items of this list. To create this list, so I can say new underscore numbers. To create this list, I'll say numbers, square bracket. Now I want to start from the first element, so I say zero, colon. Now I want to go up to the third element. That means I'll use three. This is because the number zero, index zero is inclusive and the index three, which is the fourth element is exclusive. That's why I only get elements of index zero, one and two, which are the first three elements of this list. So let me print new underscore numbers and I'll press run. And you can see that the first three elements of the list were printed. Now let's create a list with the third and the fourth item. So here I'll start with two or index two, which is the third element. Then because I want to go up to the third index, which is the fourth element. So here I'll do four. And when I press run, then I get the third element and the fourth element. We can also use negative indexes in slicing notation. Let me give you an example quickly. So here I'll say new underscore numbers equals numbers minus four colon minus one. This should give us items at index minus four, which is the fourth element from the last. So one, two, three, four. So including 10 and up to the last element, which is 25, but not including it because the end index is exclusive. So I should get 10, 15 and 20. Let's see, I'll press run. And as expected, I get 10, 15 and 20. Now let me clean up this code and go back to where I was with numbers 0, 3. Now let's see what happens if I remove this 0. I'll press run. And I got the same result as before or as when I put 0 and press run. Similarly, if I remove the last index, so if I say 0 and if I remove this and press run, then I get all the elements. If I do 1, then I get elements from the first index to the end. When writing Python code, you will find yourself doing this a lot. That is skipping either the first index or the last index because usually you'll want to start from the beginning or go till the end. By the way, if you're finding this video useful, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. Before moving to the next section of the video, the programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit size lessons that are easier to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description. 
Up to this point, we have only used the start and end index in our slicing. The complete slicing notation looks like this. It has the start index, the end index and step. Step determines the interval in which we want to get a new list. If we skip it, we get a list at an interval of 1 like in our previous examples. For instance, these two codes are equivalent. Let's try a few more examples of slicing with the step interval. So in my code editor, let me remove this old code and here I'll say numbers equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have eight and a list with 8 items and here I can say print numbers 1, colon 6, colon 2. Here this code means create a new list starting from the second item go up to the fifth sixth item or uh, item of uh, index 6 which is the seventh item but don't include that obviously and with a step size of 2. Let me run this code. Uh, as expected this code prints a list with second fourth and sixth item. Let me change the step to 3 and run this code again. So here I'll say 3 and press run. Now we get a list with the first element 2 and the next element is the third element after 2. So 2 and I skip 2 elements and the third element because the step is 3. After that the slicing stops because the end index is reached. There's a cool way to reverse a list using the slicing notation. Let me show you how. Let me remove all this old code. Since we want to reverse a list, I will go through the list from start to end by using empty start and end index. So I'll say print numbers and bracket and if I leave both the start and end index empty, I can run this code and check. So I go through the entire list. But now I'll add the third parameter. So basically start is empty, end is empty and the step becomes minus 1. Now when I press run, then I get the list in reverse order because the uh, reverse or uh, the step is minus 1. We can also use the slicing notation to change multiple items of a list at once. To demonstrate this, I'll go to my code editor, I'll remove this old code and here I'll say numbers. So start with a 0 which is default. So first three elements are minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. And let me print numbers again to see what is the changed value of the list. When I press run, then you can see that the first three elements which I got through slicing have been changed. By the way, the slicing also works for other compound data types that use indexes such as strings and tuples. I highly suggest you to try slicing of strings and tuples on your own and let me know if it worked in the comment section. That's it for this video. If you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll also put this link in the video description. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.